Hi. A couple of weeks ago I bought myself a K-Bar ZK Acron Skeleton Knife and I would like to make a short review of this one for YouTube. This one is made by K-Bar and it's a ZK or Zombie Killer line and it's a very small skeletonized knife. I bought it separately but I understand it's also delivered with some of the other line of knives. This is a pretty neat thing actually but it does have some drawbacks. For one thing it's small, it's flat, it's lightweight. The total weight of this one is around 30 grams or one ounce and it's very flat and pretty short, about six inches. So you can really start it away anywhere, which is actually why I bought it. You can use it as a neck knife as you see here, or you can put it almost in any pack. The length, as I said, is approximately six inches, six inches and a quarter, or 16 centimeters in metric. The blade length is three inches or seven and a half centimeters. The sheath, plastic, molded plastics, is provided with holes and a slit, so you can use it for, as I have done here, wrap a bit piece of paracord for hanging it around your neck. And it's supposed to keep the knife securely if you hang it around your neck. As I said, it's a small knife. It's to be used as a backup knife or if you doesn't have a, if you don't have anything else at hand. But I do have some issues with it. Not because it's small, but because of some other things. First of all, the handle here behind the wrapping is actually pretty sharp. The corners here are pretty sharp. And that's one of the reasons I've wrapped it with paracord uh, to make it more comfortable to hold. But another thing is the sheath, the retention of the knife. It's not as secure as I would like or need. As it is, I wouldn't hang it around my neck and risk having a loose knife in my shirt. That would be no good. And that's also why I wrapped it and kept the piece here so I can pull it up under the neck strap and secure it. This way, when I work it tight, I would actually want there to hang it around my neck. It can't get loose now. The third thing that I do have an issue with, although you can rectify it, is as it came from the factory the sharpening was abysmal, I can't say anything else. The front part of the edge was sort of useful, but the recurved part here was almost as sharp as the backside of the knife. Could I recommend this one? Uh, honestly, not really. If you get it, do keep it. It's a nice one. But uh, if you're looking to buy something, perhaps you should look for something else. Thanks for watching.